right, good morning. I'm excited to be here today. My name is Abby Bauer and I work as the sustainability coordinator in the Office of Sustainability here at Georgia Tech. Our office works to bridge sustainability efforts across research, education, and operations. And the reason I'm speaking today is because for about the past year, our office has been responsible for spearheading the development of the Georgia Tech Climate Action Plan, which is just on the verge of publication. So a quick show of hands, who was able to attend the Climate Action Panel on Monday? We have a few, okay, excellent. Um, so for those who are not in the session or who are less familiar with the CAP, um, I'll give a brief overview today. I won't go into all the plan specifics, um, but my goal is to invite all of you here to get involved in implementing the plan once that final document is released, which will be later this month or early April. So after that, there will be two primary ways to get involved, which are to join an implementation committee or to participate in the Living Campus Initiative, which I'll talk a little bit more about what that means later. So first of all, what is the CAP? The CAP, or the Climate Action Plan, is Georgia Tech's roadmap to having our institute greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 and reaching net zero emissions by 2050. So it's an ambitious plan, um, and equally as important, it leverages the Institute's research and education missions to solve the global problem of climate change with equity and climate justice front of mind. So on a high level, uh, the plan features about 30 strategies across nine focus areas. Think strategies ranging from shifting our campus energy away from fossil fuel use for heating our campus, to greening our fleet, to focusing on responsible production and consumption around SDG 12, as well as prioritizing climate education in alignment with Sustainability Next, um, and investing in research for climate solutions that we're so strong on here at Georgia Tech. So with the Climate Action Plan, we're in a really exciting position where we have a great idea of what must be done. Uh, and now we get to figure out exactly what that looks like. So as a second show of hands, raise your hand if you have ideas about how Georgia Tech can make specific changes to reduce emissions. We got, okay, awesome. Um, yeah, dining, obviously giving great examples just before me. Um, so with all of that, I invite you to join implementation committees for the Climate Action Plan. So we, the Office of Sustainability, will be coordinating committees in an ongoing way to work through the practical steps of getting projects implemented and tracking our progress. These groups will provide guidance um, and work closely with the departments at Georgia Tech who are already advancing plan strategies as part of their everyday job. So again, dining a great example right before me. Um, we'll do this on two levels, so we'll have committees around the focus areas. Like I said, there are nine in the plan. Just to run through them really quick, they center on building energy, renewables and offsets, mobility, uh, materials management, water management, carbon sequestration, education research, and climate equity and justice. Um, so these groups will be tasked with tracking progress and identifying opportunities for collaboration across the strategies in the focus areas. Um, these will meet on an ongoing basis, including at minimum leads from the strategy implementation committees, which is what I'll talk about next. Um, so like I said, there are 30, about 30 strategies in the plan. Um, and this, these groups, the strategy implementation committees, will be tasked with developing tangible sub-actions, building on what we already have, um, it's steps to move these forward. So, for example, one strategy in the Climate Action Plan is to increase operational energy efficiency and conservation. You might be an energy manager. You might have a great idea about a building where that makes sense at Georgia Tech, and we want to hear from you. Um, and these groups will also meet regularly. If you don't want to participate on an implementation committee, uh, I invite you to participate in the Living Campus Initiative. So this plan is based on data. We did extensive data collection and analysis to help form the plan, including creating a greenhouse gas inventory, which tracks the sources and quantities of greenhouse gas emissions across our campus. And in doing so, we collected a large amount of campus activity data as well. This ties into a larger infrastructure and sustainability, that's the department 
we're in, INS, um, initiative called Living Campus, which is focused on sharing um, data and using campus operations as a source of data that can be used to advance research and operations, while also implementing ideas and technologies on our campus as a tool. So we see the CAP as a strategy framework um, to spur innovation across the campus with that data we've already collected um, to advance academic projects and research. For students in the audience, we also have another opportunity to participate in plan implementation called, um, the. It, it's a paid fellowship. Uh, applications for that will open in April, and that's an exciting opportunity where you'll work with the office and pick an area of plan implementation um, and do a project over the course of a semester and semesters to, to see your work move forward. So if any of this sounds appealing to you, uh, please get in touch. We share about our activities via a monthly newsletter, via social media, and on our website, which is sustain.gatech.edu. We'll also be having some launch events in April. And uh, if you want to be involved, you can also reach out to me as well. And um, I'm excited to work with everyone here to, to reduce emissions on our campus. So thank you.